Hello, good day to everyone, and I welcome you to the another episode on Moleflow's tips and workflow. In this episode of tips, I'm going to demonstrate how to, you know, predict the word formations in the thicker, chunkier parts. I'm referring to the parts which are having a thickness all the way something around like 3 mm and above can go all the way to even a 20 mm or 25 mm. As you can see on your screen, I have an example of a manifold, and here the thickness is ranging somewhere around like 6 mm. Uh, somewhere the thickness is 8 mm, and the base wall thickness may be a small of like 3.2 mm. But I always feel a you know possibility of having a word formation. Previously, I was referring it to the volumetric shrinkage results. to predict whether the high volumetric shrinkage has been found in specific area and probably those are the areas can have a possibility of void formations yes my predictions to extend was correct but with the help of our consulting team particularly i like to refer mason and team they have developed and you know workflow where you could able to capture the void formations directly as a result uh, into the your flow simulations for that the minimum requirement is that you should able to you should run it fill and pack analysis well you can do as like a normal analysis like cool fill pack and warp as well but the minimum requirement is on to fill and pack analysis so with that uh, let's begin the our you know our pro workflow on the demonstration part so i have an actually a manifold as i mentioned it to you and uh, these are having a, a runner fit system which has been created around on this and i already house selected processing parameters uh, with a cooling time of 46 seconds and a packing time of around like you know uh, 15 seconds or so and uh, i want to predict an void formation so what should be the procedure for it let's begin as i mentioned that i have run a fill and pack analysis over here and i am going to go into the results and in this i am going to do a something called say calculated result and i am referring it to the new plot name as void okay and i'm going to give a percentage as a unit and function you don't need to do anything uh result yes you have to capture the volumetric shrinkage not the average volumetric shrinkage but the volumetric shrinkage okay and let it go to the final result that is 66.67 and keep the operator as minus over here subtraction and in data b again we have to select the volumetric shrinkage hit okay and it has to be minus with the first time step so last time step minus the first time step and apply it hit okay and you should have a result over here and that gives a you know percentage all the way from minus 11.75 to 1.387 well we are not interested into the negative value and as a practical or what mason and team has mentioned to me is that uh, usually a scaling to the something around like many people they have found that you know 64% of the maximum value say i'm going to calculate it as you know uh 1.3 into 0.64 8.83 is the something gives a better results actually and um, so i kept this the value as 0.83 to 1.37 max and apply it 
make sure that you off the extension color and this is the area where there is a highest possibility of wall formation now the scale choosing or having this value many people they found it that even a scaling up to like an a value of sorry for this and I go and put the maximum value again as 1.32 or uh, sorry 38 into 0.22 also uh, many people they got this value like a 0.3 if they put it and there is a possibility of the word formations so let me know which value if at all you have some refer example whether the point you know 22 or 0.64 gives the best results. I, I think a value of 0.64 makes more reasonable uh, than 0.2. Let me know your feedback and try using this plot as a part of your workflow. Uh, there is also a script created by a consulting team. I will try to get that script and uh, share with you. I already have the result, but I need to, uh, you know, get an, uh, you know, approval whether I can post it if I get the approval then I will share that uh, script with every one of you with that thank you for your time and talk to you next time take care